Hey, this is Roxanne, and it's Monday, January 9th, 2023. I wanted to finally do a video about Babylon because I've been seeing, <coughs> excuse me, so many images popping up in recent days about Babylon, and we know Babylon uh, plays a part in end times prophe prophecy. The whore of Babylon in the book of Revelations sits on top of the beast that rules in the final days, that rules during the tribulation with the ten horns, I believe it's ten horns. Um, the woman of Babylon sits atop the beast. The beast is a one world government uh, ruled by the Antichrist that forces everybody to get a mark in their right hand or forehead. And it's the final system before the return of Christ in the kingdom. In the Bible, Jesus promises that in the last days, everything that's hidden would be revealed and brought out into the open. So even all the, the hidden plans of the enemy, the plans of the kingdom of darkness, of the satanic kingdom, and how they operate and everything, a lot is being revealed, so much is being revealed. So I wanted to look at some of the modern images that are just being revealed to us right now about Babylon. One is this movie that came out last month, like December, here in Hollywood. And I saw it on the bus, the Metro bus. They do advertisements, huge image advertisements, and they had a big old photo of it, you know, Babylon, playing in December. And basically it's about... Um, the decadent lifestyles of um, some of the Hollywood stars in the 1920s, I believe, and the way they lived and everything. Here are some images from the movie Babylon that just came out. So that's one image of Babylon that's popping up just recently. And here's another way Babylon is being used recently. And I found out about this. It's called Babylon Health because the medical insurance plan I have right now has connected themselves with Babylon Health. So looking at this write-up, it claims that Babylon Health was founded in 2013. And Babylon Health is a digital-first health service provider that combines an AI-powered platform with virtual clinical operations for patients. Patients are connected with healthcare professionals through its web and mobile apps. Okay, so my actual medical insurance, HealthNet, um, became connected like in 1920, excuse me, 2021 with the Babylon Health System. And I don't think that that's by chance. Like I said, the term Babylon is really um, popping up again. Images of Babylon are popping up again in these last days during this time of tribulation. Let me just show you something too. Um, they've got the Babylon in purple. They've got a purple heart here and that's symbolic too. So let's um, look at a couple of the scriptures about Babylon. First of all, I looked up, did a little research on Google about what is Babylon famous for. And this came up. It says, why is Babylon famous? Babylon was famous in its time as a great intellectual, cultural, and religious center. It is best known today for its depiction in the Bible as a city of sin and depravity. Okay, let's go to a couple of the scriptures about Babylon. Let's see. Uh, why do I have? Okay, that wasn't the scripture I wanted to go to. Let's go to Revelations 18, 3 through 4. Here we are, Revelations 18. Sorry about that. And this talks about Babylon in the last days, uh, the fall of Babylon. 
the Great. So John is looking at a vision. It says, Babylon the Great has fallen, has fallen, has become a dwelling place of demons, a prison for every foul spirit, and a cage for every unclean and hated bird. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth have become rich through the abundance of her luxury. So, committing fornication through this Babylon means not being loyal to our true God, not being loyal to the one true God, but doing all sorts of acts of idolatry, other spiritual practices, doing um, worshiping other type gods that are not the most high God. And here's the important thing here. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her or come out of Babylon my people, lest you share in her sins and lest you receive of her plagues. Okay? So because of Babylon's sins, there are plagues that are going to be poured out upon the nations. And if we don't come out of the practices of Babylon, then we too receive of those plagues. And once again, this is prophecies for the last days at the fall of Babylon um, let's see which other one I had okay just a minute so let's see Revelations 18 23 Okay, I guess I wanted to point out something here. This is a, the finality of Babylon's fall. It says, The light of a lamp shall not shine in you anymore, and the voice of bridegroom and bride shall not be heard in you anymore. For your merchants were the great men of the earth, for by your sorcery all the nations were deceived. Okay? So, this word sorcery is actually, um, it's a word I think that's used, used several times in the book of Revelations. And here, if you look it up, I believe in Greek, the word that's translated sorcery here is called pharmakia. In Greek, this word is translated pharmakia. So, of course, pharmakia is the root word for, for pharmaceuticals, and pharmaceuticals are medicines. So we might be able to make the connection that modern day Babylon has deceived the nations with pharmacia or medicines. Um, you know, there's so many, we have the pandemic going on and then different medicines and injections being offered as a solution for that. And we see the connection between the medical field and Babylon. I mean, I just showed you how they've made an obvious connection with this Babylon health that has started recently, you know, to combine all the practices of medicine and make them available as one online, you know, easy access online. And it's even in purple. So... I guess I just wanted to point that out that so much is being revealed just as Jesus said all that's hidden will be brought into the light and everything will be made known so here we have these are the times we live in Babylon is coming to light we're in Babylon and so we can expect some destruction and more of the prophetic fulfillment of the book of Revelations okay that's kind of it for now so, bye-bye.